So how are you guys doing? What's going on? <laughs> Yay, we can see you. I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> cool. Thanks so much for participating this week when we put up a bunch of links about our Tom Petty cover and, you know, our light box sessions. That was really fun to share with you guys. We're trying to get the ball rolling again now that the year has started. <clears throat> um, should we play a song? Yes. Doing well listening to music with the kiddos. Nice. What's up, Carrie? Hi, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited to come back to Columbus. I'm itching. It's yeah, gonna we're going to play the Newport. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> uh, can't wait for Bowery. Oh, my God. Bowery? Yeah. That's... Oh, oh, my gosh. Us, too. It's gonna Thank be a blast. you. Bring your friends. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> we're, the kombucha. Uh, we're all addicted to kombuchas. Thank you for listening to the Tom Petty song. <laughs> um, okay, should we play them a song? Yeah, we were gonna play a tune. Um, what should we play? Whatever. Um, call it. Should we play you a song that you've heard before, or one that you don't know? Does anybody have a request? Any UK dates anytime? We're, we're trying. We want to come there so bad. We're trying to get to the UK. Um, our record is currently not available on iTunes UK yet, so we need to find a way to get it distributed over there. Let's see. Albany. <laughs> this is crazy. It's not fair that we can't see you. <laughs> that I want it. How do we? We need to shrink the screen so I can read their comments better. You, you gotta come play Oregon if you want sick kombucha. <laughs> new one, new one, new one. <laughs> Anything new? Okay. Um, we were actually just playing around with an idea like 10 minutes ago. We wanted to play for you guys. We could do that. Play Ask Your Out. Keep from moving. Genevieve, you're so cute. <laughs> okay. Tashi, um, what up? Hey. Okay, so this is. Should we play the new one first? I think keep so. from moving first. Uh, okay, we can just keep moving. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> it's new -ish. Oh, wait, we're, we have this in our minds, though. <clears throat> okay. Okay. But maybe some people so, didn't get on yet, because it's early. That's true. We're going to play Keep From Moving, which is a song that was a B-side to Running From a Gamble that you can get when you sign up for our mailing list. So, and then we're going to play a new one after that. Can, is this sound okay? Can, I, can everyone hear? You want to, like, do, do a Yelp? James, I would love to go hand them out myself on the streets of London, but I need money to get over there. <laughs> okay, cool. Should we do a quick test? Philly, you're coming to Philly? Oh my God, I'm so excited. We love, <laughs> we love the TLA. Um, okay, we got a yes, they can hear. Okay. Okay. Wait, check the level, D D yell or something. Hey, hey, two, yeah? Does that distort it all? It got red. Oh no. Did it peak? Everybody says it's fine. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. All these thoughts of you being gone, you're not here and I never was. Not how I wanted. We stay silent in telephones, hours pass and we won't go. Not alone with the mother for the sale. When convenient, she gets into it like no other. With the danger, she just lets you go. And you say, Come here, the dark is smooth. Well, I don't believe you. I don't believe. All of the windows closed 
people here i don't even know if... <laughs> <laughs> okay wait let's read some comments what chords are those mark um if you just can't put your first fret let me see if i can, can I put the video up a little bit yeah <gasps> someone drove through a blizzard for this no way oh my gosh i'm sorry i hope you're warm now <laughs> i hope you're getting warmer <laughs> uh put your capo on your first fret and just play c and then this F chord, but uh, with your middle finger up like that and hit the A string on the root. I don't know if that helps for anyone who plays guitar. <laughs> oh, I think it's a little bit delayed because everyone's like saying clapping. Oh, cool. So did you guys get the chords for that then? <laughs> Holy cannolis. Oh my gosh, people are here. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> How's everyone's Sunday? Any fun any fun weekend stories at all? Anything happen? Exciting? Oh awesome. It hey was Megan. Megan. What's up? <laughs> hey. It's funny that we that we we know some of you just from over the years on our website. It's awesome. Where's the rest of the band? Scattered Good about. question. <laughs> Aton is currently visiting some friends in Los Angeles, and Chris is having rehearsal with the Hush Sound because they're going to play the Bottom Lounge in Chicago on February 4th and 5th. Awesome. So it's just us today. Uh, nice and intimate. Jen, did you do something new to your hair? Yes, I made it lighter. But I don't think I like it. I think I like it darker. <laughs> I'll start game at four. Nice. <laughs> cool. I hope Chicago was fun, Megan. It's kind of it's this nice sunny day today. Canada. Oh man, we haven't been to Canada since like a year and a half, but we hope to come soon. Like we love Toronto and Montreal and Quebec and. Really want to come to Vancouver, but hopefully soon. We're trying. Someone just asked if Mamoni quit and said that he was badass. Um, mm -hmm. Mamoni is one of the most badass musicians and people that we know. He is currently heading up his own project called The Mutts, so you should check them out because they're really awesome. What's your favorite flute? Oh, uh, rumors. Rumors, of course. <laughs> Album releases are you looking forward to this year? Hmm. Um, I, I guess I can't think of any ones that are coming out. Um, let's see, the new Shins. Shins I new. hope Beach House comes out with a new record. I will say that much. I can't think of a... Um, I have yet to check out the new Bjork album, but I'm really excited about that too. Wait, wait, whoa, so <laughs> many questions. Hold on. Um, wait, let's see. 
When are you guys going to play a Louisiana show? Okay. Um, I would say we're going to be coming to Louisiana hopefully within the next six months, um, if not sooner. We're trying to get to, you know, every major city in all the regions of the country this year um, a few times. We're going to kind of treat 2012 similar to um, when we came out the gate in 2009, and we're going to try to tour, you know, everywhere a few times this year um, just to come back and see you guys. We miss you so much, and we've been so busy the past couple years, and we just really need to get back. Okay. Baton Rouge was a fun time. You guys need to add an afterthought to your set list. Saw you twice this summer, and that song live would be epic. Yeah, we uh, that's one of our favorites. We haven't really had a chance to, to play out yet, but we're gonna we're planning on bringing it out on this tour for sure. Yeah, we have um, great news. Um, I guess we will post this on our Facebook closer to the actual date. But speaking of the song Afterthought, um, it's going to be on an episode of One Tree Hill on February fifteenth. So that's really exciting. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Do you use your Vox and Mies? Um, Okay. Do you use your Reeves and Vox at the same time, um, or do you switch between them? Um, I only use them at the same time. These are This guy, Ryan, is asking about um, amplifiers and, and what I use when we play. But um, there are two different amps, and the Reeves is like a Marshall kind of sound that I throw on with the Vox for like really big boost parts so it sounds like two guitar players are kicking in. Um, but just for boosts when the vocals aren't going on. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Are you still working on that song, Like a Storm? It's great. Oh my gosh, wow. I can't believe you can't remember <laughs> that. That was so fun to be able to play all of our ideas um, live in the beginning of 2010. You know, a lot of the songs that we were writing didn't end up making the album Running From a Gamble. Um, some of them, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. We, we need to figure out a good arrangement for a lot of our ideas because, you know, there's pieces that we love, but we wanted to all make this cohesive you know, song, so. And we, we put them to rest when we started recording uh, Running From a Gamble because we were focusing on the songs that were actually working at the time and then started writing new songs. So we've kind of, we've moved on, but we haven't forgotten some of those ideas that we played from that tour that you probably saw. Um, like the song Pig, which is one of my personal favorites. Yeah. That we're trying to, you know, work on and make it a little bit more of a solid piece. Okay. <laughs> I might have to watch One Tree Hill for months. We have to say hi to Christy and Serge. Is it Serge? <laughs> hi, Christy and Serge. What's up? <laughs> what will be your next single? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, we really are trying to get Won't Go Quietly out into the world as much as possible this year because we feel like that um, song really summed up the spirit of the entire album. So. I don't know if it will be a single. Hopefully it will. We would have to edit it down a little bit to fit radio format, but we will see about that. Okay. Um, I was jealous of that Reeves when I saw you. <laughs> That's a great amp. <laughs> what advice would you give to an aspiring musician? I would say that, um, you know, it's a great idea to take every opportunity that you can to play in front of people and share your music with them. Um, you know, anywhere from a coffee shop to your friend's basement to, you know, uh, a local venue is a great place to start um, just getting the word out there and, you know, make sure that everybody that you meet along the way has a way of contacting you. Um, and you have a way of contacting them. So exchange information so you can keep up with them and, you know, keep them updated on all of your, you know, new work and stuff. I would say don't be afraid to just express yourself however, you know, you need to to get a release because if you can get a release, then your audience can get a release as well. Um, it's a tough question because we, we're definitely still aspiring musicians, always trying to get better and grow our whole our whole thing so it's yeah we're at the point right now where we can just barely get by and we can just barely pay the bills and and feed ourselves so we're trying just like you guys are <laughs> okay let's see okay 
other questions. Are you going to play at Wicker Park Fest this summer? I hope so. I'm not sure. Um, we will find out closer to the summer whether or not we can we get a play stage. Two years in a row. And a lot of times artists are not able to play two years in a row. So I don't know yet. Hopefully we will be playing some sort of summer festival in Chicago though. Um, did you guys enjoy touring with Jack's Mannequin? Absolutely. Yes. They were so cool and so kind to us. And um, all of their fans were really loyal and supportive. And, you know, every night they made early. sure that we were fed well and that, you know, we had a big audience to play for, even though we were just opening. And actually, I went to the House of Blues earlier this week to see them perform in Chicago and caught up with them and got to hang out and say hi. It was cool that all their fans came out really early, too, to see all the opening bands. So even though we were playing first, right after the doors opened, the, the whole room was filled. So that was really great. Whoa, 23 new members. Bonnaroo. Oh, man, yeah, we hope. We're trying. We're trying really hard right now to get any kind of festivals. It's tough. Holy cow, this is so many messages. You gotta go quick. Yes, we were very excited for Atlanta. I haven't been there in a while. Love it. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Oh, I hope you feel better to the person who's sick. I was sick too. Everyone's sick this week. I just got better. Do you think you guys will ever release your albums on vinyl? Yeah, you know. Well, right now, we need someone to <laughs> help us uh, pay for it, so it's possible that in the future we could start a Kickstarter program and raise money to print vinyl, but um, as of right now, our label is not going to print vinyl, so we will have to raise the money ourselves to be very... Know. We want it just as bad as you guys. <laughs> Real about it. It sucks. Oh, people are asking to play Won't Go Quietly or Syrup. Yeah. Um, Mark, how do the Vox guitars play? They're cool. Um, not that I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> I, really, I really do like them. Um, they, I usually play like a casino with uh, vintage like 1950s pickups, so it's nice to have the option to have like a hotter guitar that's a little bit more beefed up. Um, but they feel good. Um, they're really cool, and they sound great through the new AC-15 amps and everything, so it's a good match. I would definitely check it out. Listening with some of the guys at the firehouse up here in Boston, looking forward to no next way. month. Oh, <laughs> thank you. We're so excited. <laughs> um, Who is your biggest musical guilty pleasure? Hanson. <laughs> um, oh, man. Guilty pleasure. Jen got us really addicted to uh, a few Katy Perry songs when we were mixing in California <laughs> last year. And we we hated her for putting it on all the time, and then eventually I got excited for it. So. I also, um, I would say Third Eye Blind <laughs> is what I'm blind. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Wait, who, my favorite guitarist. This is a good guitarist list. Those are some great killer players. Oh, shit. Me. I don't, I don't belong in that list, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Mike Campbell, totally. What songs do you use your electroharmonic hog on? Um, that's another effect pedal someone's asking about. But uh, it harmonizes and makes like a big organ kind of sound. And I use it for like a solo and in, in, um, look both ways. And I use it for a lot of like noises and ambient like interludes underneath like King of Dreams or old letters and things like that. Oh, can you tell me what inspired you to write Mia's ballad? Uh, Mia is a little girl that I babysit that I've been watching since she was five months old. And she's now about six. And so when she was around three years old, um, she started to have, you know, actual conversations with me. And it was just amazing to see her blossom into you know, uh, a person who is able to communicate and express herself. And so I wanted to write a song for her because, you know, I realized that no one has any idea who she will end up being and that that's such a beautiful thing to look forward to, um, you know, and just 
I, w I wanted to encourage her to just be herself and, and find her voice. Um, so that's what Mia's ballad is about. <laughs> what was your favorite music in high school? Uh, let's see. Okay. Aside from classics like The Beatles, um, I would say <laughs> Taking Back Sunday. Oh, man. Yeah, high school is uh, a bit Brand era. new. <laughs> Third Eye Blind. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dalton's mom. Thank you. <laughs> We're really big with the mom scene. Moms love us. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, thank you. What are some of the things on your bucket list? Mm. I want to go to Japan. <laughs> yeah, I guess travel the world. Um, I want to read the entire collection of Shakespeare's works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much. Um... Let's see. I would like to jump out of an airplane with a parachute. <laughs> oh, I like this question. If you were on your deathbed and had only enough time to play one song, what would it be? Um, oh, man. We'll go quietly. Oh, you mean our song? Like one of no, our songs? No, no. Like what song would you play if you, you know, it's someone else's song? Ooh, I don't know. On the, on the Beach by Neil Young. Maybe. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, if I was on my deathbed and I only had one song to play, I would play A Change Is Gonna Come. Yeah. Um, Sam, Sam Cooke and Aretha Franklin are my favorite versions of that. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know it. So I bought the Logan's Run soundtrack this morning. <laughs> Do you have a favorite soundtrack? Um, I really like the soundtrack to the Royal Tenenbaums and the Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. And um, I Heart Huckabees. Heart Huckabees. Yeah, there's a lot of John Bryan songs on that. Um, and I like uh, There Will Be Blood, uh, the score yeah. that Johnny Greenwood did, I thought was really, really incredible. But, uh, ooh, I Am Sam is a great soundtrack. I don't usually like Beatle covers, but those were pretty incredible. You skipped some. I know. I had to go back. Will you ever come to Europe? Oh, man. This is an everyday battle that we're just trying to. And we don't, we don't know how to get there. We need some help and support. And uh, we're, we're dying to play other countries, you know. But we're, it's, it's going to happen soon. So we're, we're trying. <laughs> uh, Jennifer asked if there's any chance we'll be making an appearance at House of Blues with AM Taxi yeah. this week in Chicago. I'm actually their guitar player for the night, and Genevieve's going to come up and sing yes. a song. So that's <laughs> Please come out to that show. It's going to be fun. We're all great friends, so it's always a blast. <laughs> oh, wait. Come on. Uh -huh. I know. We're just missing a lot. Sorry if we're slow. It's okay. Okay, okay. Um, Wait. Will new letters be on your set list anytime soon? That's always been like um, kind of a rarity for us that we pull out um, very, you know, for occasional, <laughs> I don't know, set lists. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Probably, probably sometime eventually, but no plans recent for any kind, anytime soon. I'm trying to squeeze in a lot of new ones. Ooh, what was your favorite movie of last year? I think there were several that I really liked. I gotta see a list of like all the movies that came out. Um, I guess we see movies all the time, so we, yeah. should, we should know. Going to the movies is one of our favorite pastimes. <laughs> so, basically. God, well, I need to see a list. I know. I like to win, win a lot. Oh yeah, I remember that. Was awesome. that. Pretty much everything that he was in. What was that? Barney's version. Barney's version. Paul Giamatti. Yeah. 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 Basically, we love him. Um, it was really good. Yeah. Uh, Man on Wire, I watched. That didn't come out last year, actually. That's very old, but I, I watched it last year, and it changed my life. I like Modern Family's version of Man on Wire. <laughs> yes, me too. Happy birthday, Caitlin! <laughs> <laughs> we were actually, right before we signed on to this, we were watching the newest episode of Parks and Rec and cracking up. Oh my gosh, there's always 20 new messages. Any changes between last year's set list and this year's set list? 
Uh, yeah, we're going to try to add a few more of the songs of the new record that we haven't had a chance to play yet, like Never Come Back and uh, Afterthought. So it should be it should be fun. We're we're so excited for this tour. All the it seems like tickets are selling really well, and we're really excited to play for y'all and come to those cities and those venues and some of our favorite venues on this tour. So we're itching to get back out. Oh, can you show us the chords to Death of Communication, pretty please? I can't figure it out. Uh, okay, Ryan. Okay. And then you <laughs> kind of feels unfair for whoever doesn't have a guitar right now. Um, it's a, a G, it's all tuned down, the whole guitar is a half step down, but I'll just play it in G right now, it's in F sharp actually, but uh, you just play a G chord and add your pinky on the D string, so you make that chord, and then just play the same thing with C, and then the pre-chorus is a B chord with a suspension, and then it goes up to C. G, A minor, and that lead is the... And then the bridge is just the... It's just B, uh, B to C, and then A minor to G. I hope that helps. I don't want to geek out too much. I feel bad for anyone else who's not playing guitar. Yeah. Okay, um, we're going to play another song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what should we do? A new one? Yeah. New idea. So this is an idea that's been floating around for a little bit. Hold on, one second. Ah! And, uh, oh no, don't leave me alone here. <laughs> uh, this is a, a new song that Jen and I are working on. Uh, we started a little while ago and just kind of been continuing to work on it and try to get it up and ready, but uh, see okay. if you like it. This is not finished. This is a work in progress. Just so you know, no one has ever heard this before. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Like the night we met When you walked around my mind And you untied the strings I had knotted all my life Question all of the things I believed in. Did I let you? Did I want you to never mind the rhyme of reason? Did I let you? Did I want you?
Yeah, it was fun. I'm so glad we played that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's starting to sound kind of like a song. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. We need to go back. Uh -huh. Hold on. Let's start from... Okay, let's start from here. Hot new freshness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, we'll try to get a new intro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you're stuck on a creative block? Lose, your, lose our minds. Go it's... to the edge <laughs> of your sanity. Read a book that makes you question all reality and things you've been told. Yeah, I've had a f several months this year with uh, writer's block and I feel like the best thing to do is to not even try and don't even force it and just go live life and let let it happen when it's supposed to happen at the right time and when it does then just keep going with any ideas that come out and take advantage of it. Yay, I'm so happy people like the song. <laughs> I am trying my hardest to sit still. <laughs> I use we we're actually huge fans of Kings of Leon. Um those like first two to three records are are man, we I love them, but not so much into and some recent stuff. What's your favorite Hot Stone album? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the whole entire Hush Sound catalog. Um, I don't know. I like some of the songs off the, the, the third record. Um, oh, they said we should play that on tour. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited that people like that. Man, we just, we have not played that song for anyone, so we had no idea how that was going to go. There's this spot that, that when Jen and I first met by the lake that we'd go to by this, underneath this tree, where you can see the whole skyline, and uh, we work on a lot of tunes out there and just sit in the grass when it's summer out, at least, but, and that was a, that was a tune that we worked on uh, out there and got inspiration, and it was just a fun spot to write songs, and that, that's one of them that was written there. Oh, can you tell us inspiration thoughts on your album cover art? <laughs> yeah, can you explain to well, us? Well, okay, well, our album cover, um, someone's asking about where the artwork came from, and basically we had this, I, this whole concept of wanting to do like a 3D pop-up book, um, so there's different layers like that are actually three-dimensional, um, but it would be way too expensive and we couldn't get the money for it, so um, we had a few designs of something that was supposed to resemble that in a way, and have all these different worlds um, that re that resembles some of the lyrics in the songs, like um, you know, Jen talks about uh, a mountaintop, an afterthought, and um, some songs kind of remind you of water. So we wanted to have like all these earthy elements to it, and we ended up not liking some of the designs that we got, and had a week to finish it. So we went to like thrift stores and found old newspapers and cut out pictures from from books. Um, and just sat in this living room here actually, and just from <laughs> all over the floor and made a collage. Everyone had like, I'm on water duty. I'm finding things that are blue and, and you know. And, and I'm finding crowds of people and groups of animals and like things like that. And we just had all these themes of, you know, different textures and, you know, different parts of the world and, and feelings and colors and stuff. And we just yeah. threw it all in a big melting pot. And we just um, took a photo of it <laughs> on the ground. Um, yeah, our friend Tasha, um, red light, Wait, no, sorry, Red Wall. Red Wall Photography took the photo of our album cover. Pretty cool. Are you writing with Aton and Chris? What input do they have? Um, Aton's new, so we haven't written anything with him. But um, basically how we work with, with songwriting is um, it usually comes from a very stripped down uh, setting, like Jen and I just with an acoustic guitar or piano. And once we feel good about uh, a strong melody and a strong lyric and a cool chord progression, um, then we take it and play it out as a band and make sure it feels well and, and flows. And, and Chris is really helpful with just uh, helping arrange parts and move things around and make them flow better. And yeah, and, and suggesting cool ways of taking it to, you know, a different place, like with a key change or with, you know, um, just deciding, you know, where certain parts should be to, like, provide more of a landscape and stuff. And, um, yeah. Oh, uh, New Year's Eve question. I guess we should clear that up. <laughs> oh. we, man, we were so excited to, just to play on New Year's Eve and play Aragon Ballroom because it's a, it's a venue in Chicago that's been around since the 20s and all of our grandparents used to go ballroom dancing there and so we were just 
really stoked to play that room and play on New Year's. But yeah, we were bummed that we, we played earlier on in the night. Um, and we also only had a 30 minute set and it got cut short because of time um, for the other bands after us. But we're going to make it up to everyone on uh, March 9th in Chicago. We're going to be headlining the Metro and finally get to play a full hour and a half set, you know, in our hometown. So we're looking forward to that. Oh, um, Mark, what happened to your jazz master? Oh, wow. How do you people know these? <laughs> it's in the basement, actually. Uh, I, I love it. I just haven't um, found use for it enough on uh, consistently on enough songs throughout a set to, to bring it out. And it's also 1966, so I don't, I don't want to mess it up at all with bad weather and things like that. So I keep it at home. Ooh, what's your favorite pizza topping? Mm -hmm. uh, cheese. Ri wait, how do I say it? Rigot? Ricotta. Ricotta. Ricotta cheese. <laughs> Ricotta cheese. How do you find inspiration for your lyrics? Oh boy. Real life situations. Um, feelings like I'm gonna burst if I don't just write about it, you know? Where it's like I could just literally combust and instead of doing that I need to find a way to, you know, get it off my chest. Um, I also really like crowded areas and being around people and listening to their conversations and seeing how people are relating to each other and relating to their environment. I think it's really interesting um, to observe, you know, how human beings are interacting with their world. And also, I guess, um, reading great books that, that, you know, provide a new perspective um, for me to you know, brought in my world view and things like that. Um, traveling, yes, um, breaking down the wall of the self and the idea of the self, because they're very different <laughs> things. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh. Have you ever gone to see the improv at Second City? Yes! And right now, I am reading Tina Fey's book, Bossy Pants, <laughs> and it is hilarious. I love her so much, and she talks about improv a lot, and her time at Second City, and writing for SNL, and you have to read the book because it's so good. <laughs> Wait, you should go down and work your way up. I know, I am. Do you like the Smiths? Yes. <laughs> Are you familiar with the band Lydia? Mm -hmm. No. Should we check it out? <laughs> What's your favorite position? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's funny people talking about my hair. Um, okay, first concert. My first concert without my parents was, let's see, at the Metro in Chicago, and I was, I want to say 13 years old, and I went to go see Lucky Boy's Confusion, and it was so cool, and I got really beat up in the mosh pit, and I got a poster signed by Stewie. And he spelled my name with a J. <laughs> Maybe that comes full circle. And now Adam, who used to be the guitar player in, in Lucky Boy's Confusion that we're talking about, is an AM Taxi who we're playing with this week. Ooh, Mark, did you receive formal training for guitar, or are you self-taught? Uh, I had, like, some beginner's lessons when I was really young, uh, when I first started. But uh, they definitely didn't give me the discipline that I wish I, I would have received. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, I, I like listening to records and, and learning the licks and learning songs and uh, just letting that soak up in your brain and you can re regurgitate it in your own unique way, I guess. Ooh, how about them Black Keys? Any favorite songs? What's the one that's like, my next girl, be never oh, the, like... that's their single. Oh, uh, last girl, be never like my next girl. Yeah. I love that song. I'm <laughs> glad that, that band's doing so well. They've been touring and in the van for so long and it's good to see a band get a break after so long. Ooh, this guy's from the same town as Mike Ditka <laughs> and he wants to know Chicago Bears, Bulls, or Blackhawks. Let's just say this. 
<laughs> the Bulls in 1994, right? Probably not my fan. Were the coolest thing I've ever <laughs> seen. And I used to go over to my grandparents' house and eat a lot of stale popcorn. I don't think they knew it was stale because they were old. But I used to sit and eat entire bowls of it and watch their games. So I love the Bulls. I grew up playing hockey, so I was a huge Blackhawks fan. I actually got to go see a few games at um, Chicago Stadium, which is the venue that is across the street from uh, the United Center, and it was torn down uh, to build the United Center, but it was really cool to go to the old stadium. Um, Jacob just asked us, what's our favorite Chicago song, the band Chicago? I like, uh, no, does anybody really right. know what time it is? <laughs> does anybody really care? About time. <laughs> or uh, 25, 6 to 4 is a really cool song. I love Chicago. I love 6 to 4. What do you think of The King of Limbs? I I love it. I, I thought um, <laughs> it didn't, it, it felt like it was almost like a, a Tom York solo album at first. Um, and the more I listened to it, I realized it's just what Radiohead has always done, which is just continue to evolve and put out an entirely different new record. And I think they're one of the only bands that that, that do that that well. And it was the first time I got to hear Tom York's Neil Young influence on some of those last tracks off King of Libs, like just the acoustic tunes and um, the simplicity of the chords and everything. I thought it was a really cool move for them, but I like it. Um, people are having troubles with ads. Sorry, I, I wish we could put in our own advertisements and make commercials for you. <laughs> Um, Do you guys enjoy playing with KJ Elephant? Of, of course. course! Their shows are always fun. They bring a great crowd. Like, a lot of cool people are just very energetic and happy to be at a, at a concert. And, you know, as a band, that's all you ask for is to play for those kind of people. So it's definitely a cool crowd. What's your routine before doing a show? I guess it depends. Some, when we're opening on tours, we don't have that much time because we load in and we sound check and we go run and get food and then we're, we're, we're really stuffed and uncomfortably, you know, full and then we have to go run to play. Um, I like to stretch a lot um, and do jumping jacks if I feel nervous, which I pretty much always feel nervous. Um, sometimes, I don't know, drink some throat coat tea, do a lot of vocal warm-ups. Um, sometimes listen to like a really good rock song and headphones to get pumped up. Yeah. Like something from Nirvana or something. <laughs> Who would you like to tour with in the near future? I want to tour with, with the band that we recently got to, to know, um, Group Love. I don't know if anyone's heard of Group Love, but they're the sweetest people ever and really cool people and they bring great crowds to their shows and a lot of energy and I think that'd be a really fun tour for us. Ooh, who's your favorite Jonas brother? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Drink whiskey? Yes, please. Yeah, that's why I've got my kombucha this morning from too much last night. What's your favorite junk food? Oh, munchies for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little bit of everything. You got your Doritos, you got your Cheetos, you got a little pretzel. It's great. I like Girl Scout cookies, specifically Caramel Delights oh. and um, chocolate chip cookie Tongue dough time. ice cream. <laughs> Tongue tie. Hey, RJ. Hey, man. Oh, What's... <laughs> hey. Man. Wait. I'm guessing Jen does Tai Chi and drinks chai tea. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite guitar and why? Um, I guess it changes from time to time, but right now my, my Epiphone Casino is my favorite. I put on vintage 1950s pickups and sand it down the neck, and it feels like an old vintage 65 casino, and it just plays really well, and um, there's a lot of clarity to it because I play a lot of open chords, so it's it's uh, good to bring that out. That's my favorite. There's also a 320, Gibson 325 that I like a lot. Group Love was Fantastic Live, and we adore them. We're becoming friends with them. They're so cool and so sweet, and I hope that you like them, too. <laughs> Colors is a great song. So many songs I want to hear you guys redo. Cool. Aww. <laughs> okay, let's play another song. Yeah. 
Should we play a cover? Or what, what do you guys want to? Oh no, someone missed keep. Noah, we already played keep from moving Noah. in the beginning. Here, oh, no. what else would, what else would you want to hear, Noah? Noah's our boy. Oh, my celebrity crush is Ryan Gosling, for sure. <laughs> also, me, me too. <laughs> I still kind of have a thing for Gideon Yego, who was the really nerdy MTV VJ um, when I girl? was a kid. Who's the actress from Midnight in Paris and Inception? Uh, oh, French Marianne Cotillard. The, I want to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, are there meanings behind your tattoos? Um, yes, of course. So, let's see. This is, wait, can you see this? Oh, this is great, showing off my, my arms. Um, this is an ear for listening because I think that it's very important. And um, growing up, I wish there was more of it going on around me. Um, and this is forte, which is loud and strong, dynamics. So this is, you know, white on this arm. Um, sort of a yin-yang type of thing. Um, you know, to be quiet and listen and take it in, and this is to be loud and strong when you need to be. <laughs> okay, something from Tourniquet. Oh, I, cool. Man, it's so cool that you guys even know about our acoustic EP because we've been trying to release it um, and been having problems with getting the just it approved to be released for some silly reason. But we're we're working on it. <laughs> but I'm glad you even know what that is. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Cool, we're gonna play a song. A lot of people are requesting syrup, so I think we should do that. Okay. Yay! This, this song... Here we go, thank you! Uh, Here, we need to scoop closer together, I think. Okay, that's good. Days and days of dollar bags of time Feel the everlasting time Rows of houses all are painted white I lost you in the dead of night You lost your so sweet I feel dying to rest in You lost You in a deep blanket of sound. No one here to find a sound. Never thought that you would come around. The coast and clean our heat on the mouth. Right now, in a morning time, I will let you have me till you find in bed. I, 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 like you, I left the dark into the road. You love to see your eyes so sweet. I feel day in the best. You love to see your eyes so sweet. No, I made a mistake because I missed you On the way down, on the way down I know I made a mistake because I missed you On the way down, on the way down I know I made a mistake because I missed you I still do, I still do, I still do I know I made a mistake because I missed you On the way down, on the way down
I always forget how much I like playing that song. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so, so weird playing good. a song to to not a real audience, and because it's just really quiet in our living room right now. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna answer a few more questions, and in five minutes we're gonna say goodbye and have a beautiful day. So hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Harry Potter fans. Absolutely. <laughs> when the third movie came out, um, my band told me that they were going to dress up and meet me at the theater. So I came head to toe as Hermione, and everybody was playing a <laughs> prank on me. So that was really embarrassing. I think we just forgot about it. <laughs> sure. Um. I'm laughing because somebody says that pressure should be a, yeah. a hit. I'm going to bring you kind of like he's Oh, please, oh, Ryan. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Please. I will I love, love those cookies. I love South Street and TLA. I can't wait to get... What's the, the steak place right next to TLA? Is it Jim's? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Philly cheesesteaks. So good. I'm excited. Aw. Faster puppets. <laughs> Detroit. I want to come back to Detroit. Um, speaking of Detroit, there's a band called Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. and they have a song called We Almost Lost Detroit and it's so good. You should check it out. Oh my god. RJ oh, knows yeah. the original lyrics. RJ, that's cool that you know the original lyrics. What's weird about that is I was thinking in my head on that line because I used to sing a harmony and I'm afraid to on that line because I always will sing that instead. We'll sing Scissor Fight. And I was thinking about it, I'm like, I wonder if anyone knows the old lyric. And that's so weird that you just brought that up. It's crazy. Uh. Okay. Oh my goodness, hold on. Did you guys listen to our, our Tom Petty cover this week that was on a few blogs? That was exciting to share that. What are you guys doing after this Ustream? We're going to work on new songs today and record lots of ideas in the basement. Do you prefer larger or smaller uh, venues? Uh, both, depending on the, the room. Yeah, and... I like smaller venues because they're really intimate and I feel like I'm just hanging out with friends. Um, and I like larger venues because, you know, it's something that's not as familiar to us and it kind of puts me, you know, on the edge of my seat, so to speak. Um, I think it's really cool to see that many people coming together over something like bigger than themselves. So, <laughs> I wish the Lansing show wasn't 21 plus. It makes no sense because it's a college town too, right there. So, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish everyone could come. Do you guys ever have anxiety about trying to write a hit song? No. No way. We just have anxiety when we turn in all the songs that we love and people tell us that they're not hits. <laughs> <laughs> they're all hits. Aww. Oh, thank you for whoever just said the Tom Petty song, Give You Chills. Before you leave, what's your favorite Metallica album? I must know. Billy, I love that you keep bringing up Metallica. Cause, yeah. I mean, uh, when I first played guitar in junior high, uh, you know, when you go to a drummer's house and want to jam, the first thing you do is, well, what do you know? And I know Metallica songs, and that, that seems to <laughs> always be the deal. So they're, they're a part of my childhood, for sure. Um, I love the Black Album, though. Justice for All was fun. Master of Puppets. Okay. Oregon. We want to come back to Portland so bad and the whole West Coast soon. Yeah, we are going to do more Ustreams, uh, more of these in the future. Maybe from the road we'll do one in like backstage before we go on stage or something like that. This is me smiling. Represent. Holy cow. We love This Is Me Smiling. So um, many songs. Favorite song. Movie. Goodness, I gracious. like movies. You like, yeah, I, I like, like that. I like movies a lot. And on my eyelids. Yeah. What's the one where he's like... Um, a disappointed town with the people turning out the lights. Yeah. Oh, my God. That whole album. Whenever I listen to This Is Me Smiling, I feel like I had a conversation with a great friend. You know, like I, I always for love the, hearing their stuff. For those of you who don't know, this we're talking about this uh, band from Chicago 
that's kind of like local legends within the music community. They're just amazing musicians and songwriters, and um, they're not really so much of a band right now, but you should check them out. Just Google This Is Me Smiling and download their latest album. It's phenomenal. <laughs> okay, so this is the last question. Um, somebody said, will you do this again soon? And yes, we will. Totally. What do you guys think about if we try to do this like once a month? Even if we're in the middle of a tour, we can just set up a time to have a chat and, you know, check in with you guys. So we'll definitely try to do this next month and we'll try to start it as a monthly thing. We also really want to thank everyone um, just because, you know, it's we feel so fortunate that we, we have the kind of fan base that we do like we really feel like we have the most incredible people that come out to our shows and and just share your thoughts and your opinions on our band and keep us motivated and you know it's it's tough out there and we've had a rough year and you guys make it all worthwhile and make us so excited to come out and play for you so thank you so much thank you we love you so much thanks for taking the time to hang out with us for an hour should it's we, really fun should we do one last song um when the city waves because somebody sure. requested that sure we'll do one last song uh. Okay, this is our last song, and then we hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> hope to see you on this tour coming up. Uh. This is called When the City Waves, You Must, Must Learn to Swim. I somehow realize that I was using it all. Realized it I was shit I love Sitting on doorsteps waiting for you You're out there Half the way across the world My dear I am back here in the state Naked as I come Sitting waiting for you I never claimed to understand what I, I was looking for. I never made it to a plan what I, I was so open for. Actually read all the comments because we didn't get a chance to. Actually, no, I have to go chat down. Man, we've gotten a lot of messages from Chicago people. Like, okay, should we go oh, down? We should have did this. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do the whole time. What is this stuff? Um, Man, so it has from the beginning of the list. You might want to click out of that. That was good. I thought.